Welcome to weekly UAS News Update. We have three stories for you this week. A drone light show that injures a kid in Orlando. An Israeli drone company that wings a big DoD drone contract. And then lastly, navigating those TFRs in New York and New Jersey. Let's get to it. And first story this week is a bit of a sad one. A child was injured at an Orlando drone air show last week. Uh, a drone hit him in the chest during the show near uh, Lake Eola Park. Now, the seven-year-old boy was taken to the hospital, and it was later reported that he also required emergency cardiac surgery due to a damage to a heart valve, although it's unclear at this stage if this was caused by a drone or if it was something else. Uh, approximately 15 minutes into the performance, the drone started to fall out of the sky, according to a video and then also from witness statements. Uh, the show was put on by Sky Element, a very reputable company that has a very long standing of safe operations. Uh, Sky Element puts out dozens of drone shows across the country yearly and even holds 11 Guinness World Records, uh, including flying a show with 5,000 drones, 5,000 drones. That was about a month ago during uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, it's unclear exactly what happened at this stage, and quite frankly, it would be out of touch for me to speculate at the moment. Uh, we will follow up when the NTSB concludes their investigation and releases their findings. Uh, we wish the young boy a prompt recovery and we'll let you know if we hear more. And second story this week is Extent, which is an Israeli defense tech company that has secured an $8.8 million contract uh, with the U.S. Department of Defense. Uh, the contract is to deliver advanced AI-powered drones that are called the uh, CEO uh, at PSIO. These uh, drones are tactical drones that are capable of operating indoor and outdoor, combining artificial intelligence with real-time precision uh, striking capabilities. Now, these drones are not really a type of drone that we usually talk about, but uh, they're designed to help soldiers in operational um, uh, situations. These drones are manufactured in the U.S. and they are set to be delivered in early 2025 following extensive testing that has been done. Uh, these are already being used apparently in, uh, with the Israeli uh, Defense Forces in a real life situation. All right, and for the last story, I want to discuss the recent temporary flight restrictions or TFRs that were put in place in New Jersey and in New York. Uh, most of these are one nautical mile in radius and they've been set around sensitive infrastructures uh, such as substations, lots of substations, a railroad depot, and uh, even one was a nuclear power plant. Uh, part 107 operators who have a valid statement of work, and that's kind of the key here, and show that they have a need to be in the restricted area are going to be eligible to request what's called an SGI waiver. Now, SGI stands for Special Governmental Interest and is typically used by public safety agencies, but it is also available to what I'm going to call regular drone uh, part, part 107 operators. Now, according to the FA website, and I quote, to apply for a waiver through the SGI process, you must be an existing Part 107 remote pilot with a current certificate or be a public safety agency uh, with an existing certificate of waiver or authorization or COA. Now, I will put a link down in the descriptions for those of you that are interested in applying to fly in those areas. Uh, I just wanted to mention that it is not impossible to do that. You just need to have the right paperwork. And last note before we go, we have the winner of the Community Photo Contest for December. Uh, congratulations to uh, Bill Heiser, uh, who won with the photo title, I Way to the Pass. Uh, I'm also excited because Bill has been a follower of ours for a very, very long time. So congratulations, Bill. And that's it for this week. And I would say even this year, uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in every single week. We are getting close to 300, that's right, 300 consecutive weeks of doing news updates, and we couldn't do it really without all of you. Uh, I and then the entire team here at Pilot Institute wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, I hope that uh, it will be full of growth for your company, if that's what you do, but also more importantly, that it is filled with many hours of flying your drone or airplane or whatever it is that you like to fly. Please continue to be safe and vigilant and remember to be a mentor. This is very important to those that uh, just got their first drone under either the tree or for whatever reason they get it. All right. Cheers, see you next year. Welcome to the very first edition of this video series. I want to introduce some of the UAS news. I haven't found a name for it, quite frankly. Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. 